this. We're still talking about placement. I think I'm gonna die on this hill. This is a great question though, so I'm gonna try to break down what's going on. In case you're late to the party, the hill that I'm dying on is the idea that vocal placement is not an evidence-based tool. You can't place your voice anywhere other than where it is, which is here inside your larynx. You may, however, experience sympathetic vibrations in different parts of your body in response to your breath pressure, how firmly your vocal folds are closed together, and the size and shape of your vocal tract. I happen to be one of those people. The size and shape of your vocal tract especially helps to decide which frequencies get amplified or attenuated. When certain frequencies are amplified, your hard palate might start to vibrate in response to those frequencies. Those vibrations may then travel through bone conduction into different parts of your face, maybe what a lot of people like to refer to as the mask or even into your teeth. You also may have all of those things perfectly aligned and still not feel those sympathetic vibrations the way someone else does. No two vocal tracks are alike. No two people have the same skull shape or teeth. So using it as a teaching tool is just not super reliable. There are ways, but I argue as a teacher, you've gotta be aware of the science first. Keep the questions coming. Let's see if we can solve this thing.